Hey everybody, I'm Rob Zabo and uh, we're going to take a walk through my neighborhood. I believe in a song Cause there are songs that I've sung I gotta thank for the strength To keep from coming undone We're at Lila's little video shop. She's a friend of mine. This is where uh, I get all my uh, video rentals. Woody Allen, Run Lola Run. You seen this one? Can I offer film? you Love some it. gelato? There you go. And this one is chocolate cherry jalapeno. Got some steelhead trout. It was a super special. I'm excited. I'll put this on the barbecue tonight. Fantastic. Best cheese shop going. Global cheese. I'm here. Two, three times a week. It's fantastic. It's cheap and they've got a great selection and they've got tons of goat and sheep cheese. Because I can't have cow dairy, right? So I have goat and sheep. We're at uh, Tutti Frutti, health food store that I go to every week. They've got these tasty cookies that I, I have to buy every time I come in here. All I know is when I'm at the microphone, I have hope. But I don't want to place a bed Cause no matter what anyone says It was all worth it When I was growing up, I always had stomach trouble. Uh, I remember my mom telling me that when I was a kid, my stomach hurt, but I didn't really express it very well. But what I'd do is I'd pull my shirt up and go and put it up against the fridge because it was cool and that would like soothe my gut. So my gut's always hurt. And so I figured out through the years that I should avoid most of the foods that are staples in North American diet, like wheat, cow dairy, processed sugar, all that. And if I avoid that, then I'm relatively healthy. It's more and more common, right? More and more people are avoiding wheat and white sugar and all that kind of stuff. It's a bit of a political thing, and it's mostly just I can't function if I don't do that. So we went to the little video store, Lila's little video store, and we went to uh, Baldwin Naturals, we went to Global Cheese, we went to the fish shop, we went to Tutti Frutti, these are all Mon Paz, and I like to support, uh, you know, local community businesses, but I forgot propane, because I got a barbecue to fish, right? So, uh, going to the Mon Pa propane distributor. Are they even Canadian owned? All I know is when I'm at the microphone